guys, so it is finally time for the series. I've worked so hard on the actual setup here. And yeah, basically, I'll be starting with introductions for the actual obby creator settings because I think it'll be easier if I got that out of the way first and then continued on with the actual building and coding portion. But first, let's welcome our class. Yes, as you expected, nobody's here. Yay! Okay, but actually, we'll be moving on to settings by going to edit mode first. Okay, so, if you're on mobile, I would say just go to the big gray button down here and just click it. I'll be explaining all of these pretty quickly. So, data used, basically how much data you've used in your actual obby. Total obby value, how much money you'll get back after selling your entire obby plot. Snap to grid, basically if there was a 100 by 100 grid, how far you'll move it. Like, I'll, I'll explain. If you set move to one, it's the part that you add because you're going to add and you go to part. The part that you add isn't going to move that much. But if I set it to 0 0.25, you can kind of see more smoother movement that allows for more details. This will be really good if you want to try to build something really cool or detailed in the game. And part limit, of course. This is kind of like just limit that prevents you from building too much because the game needs you to pay to actually build more since um, the game wants money <laughs> but other than that we're moving on with settings clock time basically the time it is in the game you can set it dragging enabled i would say don't really enable this because of the fact that you can't undo or redo anything so if you make a tiny mistake with dragging enabled, it's going to taunt you for the rest of the project that you're going to be doing. So yeah, just don't. <laughs> okay, next we have snap rotation dragging. Basically the same thing. Uh, next we have hide players. So for hide players, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you just hide the players around you. It's good for those single player games where you don't want to see other people ruining the gameplay. Invincible while editing. If you turn this on, you can be invincible and just go through all your obstacles, but there's no point in that when you can just teleport. So I would leave it off in case you want to like test obstacles. Like if you want to test some lava, then you, you should like leave it off so you can actually test. Team requests. I would turn this to kind of friends only because there's this bug that the creator has yet to fix it's that if someone invites you to team build and they leave the game you're gonna lose your edit powers on your own obby for like one second and it gets really annoying you know next we have copyright music this is the kind of click to determine whether you want to listen to music across the Roblox platform. It's good for YouTubers if you don't want to just get copyright striked or copyright claimed when you're playing some random obby and a fan decides to troll you by, well, playing Rickroll. <laughs> Something like that. And then finally, edit floor moves underground. This is like a Game Pass feature. There's really no need if, uh, there's no reason for you to put it to no or yes. It's just there. Next, you have the tutorial. Basically, you can redo the tutorial if you want. You should have already done the tutorial before going here because it explains a lot of the stuff I'm going to cover in the next episode. Next, we have obby permissions. Yay! You can determine whether uh, a player gets kicked from your obby, if they can edit your obby, or if they're banned. I'm in a private server, so there's nobody here. Next, we have Revert Current Obby. This is good for those trollers who think it is a good idea to destroy every bit of progress that you've worked on on your obby for fun. So you can just get back at them and say, ha, you did it for nothing. I can just revert back to a previous version of my obby. 
because all of your obby save files are on here are on here and you can just go back to whichever one when you want it's basically a more annoying undo system but it still works and finally we have limits i'm not going to go into clear obby because like you know what it does it clears your entire obby <laughs> And then uh, for limits, it's basically how many of each kind of model or part you can have in your obby since it can lag out the game a lot if you put it over the limit. So that's basically it for settings. I hope that all made sense, whatever, because like my previous videos for tutorials, they made no sense. People couldn't follow anything and like it's easy to like understand because, like, I myself, I'm pretty used to this system. So, like, a new player would totally not understand. Like, I get that. So, yeah, basically, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like so I'll know. And let's see. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It really helps a lot and it motivates me to make these videos for you guys. Like, I've been inactive for, like, a long time now because of personal issues. So, yeah, if you want to subscribe, feel free to. Also, ring the bell so you can actually get notified for the next upload, which will pretty, which will be pretty useful, I think, if you're trying to build something big in the game. So, the game's going to be in the description, and goodbye and stay safe.